Rocky Downey is in the building. The two times Grammy nominated Rocky Downey is here with us tonight. Rocky, how are you doing? Doing perfect, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> the, vibration, the vibrations uh, yeah, high, yeah, you know. Man, yeah. high, 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 high. Yeah, the vibration could never be low. Yes, sir. Yes, it sir, must. Yes, sir. It, it, it must always. It must always high. burn. Always, 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 always burn. You know, it's a beautiful time. You know, incredible things going on mm -hmm. both for our country, mm -hmm. and um, I'm just so excited and psyched about it. You know, definitely, and, uh, and also being just being home. You know, definitely being home with all this good news mm -hmm. and powerful things happening for our industry. You know, it's really an honor. You know, and um, I'm just enjoying it. You know, I'm really enjoying it. Yeah. All right, so so um, it's out. Yes. It, it's an open secret that you've been nominated for. The Grammys again, you understand yes, me? Yes, yes. You know, and you, you've been doing some media tours yes, and all that, yes, granting yes. interviews and all that. Yes. How how has that been like? Oh, it's been amazing. But you know, the thing is that when you are doing such media tours, too, mm -hmm. you know, they 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 are taxing. You know, mm -hmm. you have to constantly work. Mm -hmm. You know, you have to be on time. Yeah. You know, you have to run from place to place. Yeah. You know, you have to. There's calls coming in, and mm -hmm. you're doing that. So it's been a very intense. I would say uh, past few days, mm -hmm. but for me, this is what I was built for. You know, I have always, you know, throughout my career, mm -hmm. it's always been about just going, 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 and going. You know, but you know, it's what it is. You know, yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, we are live on the Legacy Sound International page on Facebook. So if you join us, please share the link. Make sure that you know we get to the four walls of the earth. You understand me? Because we have the one and only Rocky Dawuni you know, with us. You understand me? So please share the link. Let it reach far because we are about to, you know, um, 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 put some education and all those things out for people to understand and all that. You know what I mean? So I beg you with all maximum respect. And I want everybody to listen carefully. I don't want nobody to go misquote Lagazi anywhere and all that. <laughs> you know that me, I'm, 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 I'm good at this. Trust me, if you come on my page, with those things, you, you get blocked. You understand me? It's one time. I don't have time for no bad energy. You understand me? Yeah, I want good energy around me, especially when I'm dealing with, you know, issues of concern, you know, to Ghana. You understand me? Yes. When we put Ghana first, we put our industry first. So if you don't look at the industry and you, you, you'll be looking at individuals and all that and you come on my page with those nonsense... I'm going to block you. It's simple. <laughs> you understand me? All right. So, Rocky, um, I ask you how has it been like simply because I want to know because um, you've gone for interviews and all that. Yes. And yes, all of yes, a sudden, yes. we've seen different headlines and all that. Yes. yes. You know, how is the feeling like in, in terms of you, you going, know, you know, you, you're going to educate people and at the end of the day, you, you, your words are being misquoted and all it's, that. It's really unfortunate, you know. Mm -hmm. You know, I, a, a while ago, I really warned about this whole vitriolic aspect of our industry mm -hmm. you know, whereby artists and people are pitted against each other mm -hmm. and it also becomes fodder mm -hmm. for social media and media houses whereby people you know you just they just rip headlines and rip you know certain statements mm -hmm. and then they use that as a means to create division mm -hmm. and conflict mm -hmm. and at a time when we are blessed with such great gifts mm -hmm. you know a great gift of another Grammy nomination, a mm -hmm. great gift of, um, you know, one of our, uh, our other artists having been able to have songs in three different categories. Mm -hmm. You know, a, a, it is a blessing, mm -hmm. a blessing for us. Mm -hmm. And going around and celebrating this and at the same time, too, using my experiences mm -hmm. to talk about, you know, how the system works mm -hmm. so that we have a very good understanding mm -hmm. of it mm -hmm. as part of evolving our, you know, our industry. Mm -hmm. Then there comes the wolves again. Mm -hmm. You know, same wolves, you mm -hmm. know, same negative energy, mm -hmm. you know, who just come and take all this incredible positivity, mm -hmm. flip it around, mm -hmm. words that I have not said, mm -hmm. they use my words against other people. Today, even I saw one by somebody, it was even, it was crazy. I just looked at it and I was just like, you know what? I don't have to worry about this because 
to whom much you give in, much is expected. Definitely. You know, and it's a blessing. And when you have a blessing, you know, the light comes with the darkness. Definitely. So you have to be stronger with your light in the midst of all the darkness. You know, my brother, you know, who I love, who mm -hmm. I have, you know, I have been a good friend for a long time. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, there's all these people trying to pit us against each other. Mm -hmm. It's very unfortunate. But you know what? The music reigns in the long run. And that is what is happening no matter what they might do. Yes, I am. <laughs> yes, I am. We keep forwarding, you know. We Definitely. keep forwarding, yes. Definitely. Yes, um, yes. There is this um, screenshot, you know, um, on social media coming from Stone Boy yeah. after the interview, yeah. you know, you granted and all that. Yeah. And I, I would like to read it out. Okay. Um, the, the screenshot that I saw reads, Chairman is so quick to remove credit on a young kid. We know them, who, but we think say them change. Who. Kai, them never change with a laughing emoji. What do you make out of this? Oh, you know, I don't make anything out of it. You mm -hmm. know what I mean? When people take my wrong, mm -hmm. they take my statement, mm -hmm. which I didn't say, mm -hmm. and then put Stoneboy's name in front of it that mm -hmm. I said that, mm -hmm. obviously he's going to hear it and be, be, be uh, emotional about it. Mm -hmm. You know, so it's a, it's a reaction, and I don't hold that against him at all because it's people pitting us against each other, trying to start a certain negativity, mm -hmm. and... I hope they are happy, mm -hmm. you know, those people who did all of that, you know, but, you know, he's my brother. I've supported Stone Boy's music. I have been a champion of Stone Boy's music. We've been good friends for a long time. Mm -hmm. And I don't think that these people are going to succeed in doing anything, you know. So when people even were showing me that, I'm just like, you know, no problem. You know, I don't see, I don't, I don't take it personal mm -hmm. in any sense, mm -hmm. you know, because it's something that people are looking for stoking of the fire so they can go out there mm -hmm. and use it to create more numbers for themselves. He's achieved an incredible thing, you know, mm -hmm. an unprecedented achievement, you know, to have, uh, you know, uh, songs in three, with th in three different, with three different artists. Yeah. As part of the Grammys. Yeah. It's a great, incredible thing that right now we need to be celebrating, but we have... Same elements who are pitted artists against each other, trying to bring me and drag me into the same thing. But you know what? I'm not part of that, and I'm not going to play that game. So they can keep doing their own thing, but we keep doing positively and uplifting everything positively and, you know, pushing Ghana forward in terms of the blessings that we have, uh, you know, and uh, for the Grammys. And we will go out there and see what God has for us. All That's right. all I can say. Yeah. So, um... Talking about the Grammys, yes. the 63rd, right? 64th, I believe. Fourth. 64, yeah. All right. Yeah. So, um, um, the reggae category, yes. best reggae album. Yes. That is when you check the, the, the website of the Grammys, it's number 54, the reggae category. Yes. And the, um, the category definition reads, for album containing at least 51%, Playing time of new reggae recordings. That is the definition for it. Let's hear what the Grammys had to say. The nominations. The nominees for Best Reggae Album. This year's nominees are Pomoja by Itana, Positive Vibrations by Gramps Morgan, Live and Livin' by Sean Paul, Royal by Jesse Royal, Beauty in the Silence by Soja, and Tin by Spice. Huge congrats to all of this year's nominees. All right, so I want to check this um, particular album nominations. Stone Boy is on with Itana. Stone Boy is on with Sean Paul, and Stone Boy is on with Jesse Royal. Amazing. Yeah, you understand me? Yes. It's been featured on songs in that particular album yes. and all that. Yes. All right, so um, um, please, if you can keep the door closed. Yeah, close the door for me. Yes. Hit 103.9 FM. Um, Rocky, let's, let's look into this. If, if an artist is featured, you know, on an album pertaining to the Grammys, is is that particular artist a nominee? If 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 the artist you is know, not in in an album, yes, 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 of the of the year, yes, 
you know, the thing is that <laughs> the most people should go. I'm not going to be the uh, the mouthpiece of the yeah. academy anymore. Definitely. You know, I've Definitely. decided because when <laughs> you try to be the academy, a uh, mouthpiece of the academy and <laughs> tell people <laughs> what you know, they're going to take it out of context. So <laughs> I want everybody <laughs> to go log on. log on to the academy website <laughs> and go and read what the rules and regulations are. It's not me putting those rules. Of course. So go and read and use that as your yardstick to educate yourself <laughs> what the parameters are. You know, and then when you educate yourself, then you have that knowledge, you know, because sometimes, you know, you don't cast pearl before, you know, people who are not gonna comprehend what you're saying and gonna take you out of context and think that when you try to educate and enlighten and bring, <laughs> you know, because we need clarity, you know, if we are trying to move our industry <laughs> Uh, onto the global scene. Mm -hmm. The global scene does not operate like how we operate things locally. Mm -hmm. There are rules, regulations, parameters, and all of that. And we need to understand all of these so we can be able to successfully interface and know how we position ourselves to be el for the eligibility of you know these um, uh, opportunities. Mm -hmm. So. We, it is our responsibility mm -hmm. to educate ourselves. Definitely. And I feel that when we don't get things right mm -hmm. and someone who has been there, mm -hmm. lived there, mm -hmm. understand it, is trying to really bring the light mm -hmm. and then it becomes something that the whole industry kind of takes it out of context, you know, and try to attack you for bringing the knowledge, mm -hmm. For me, I think that I'm not going to carry the knowledge for you. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Go and seek it yourself. You know, go and seek the knowledge yourself. Because sometimes when God blesses us with the opportunity to come and do something positive, mm -hmm. and every time you bring positive, you have a, 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 a what's it called? A, a, a cast of negativity mm -hmm. that comes to really confront you with that, uh, the positivity that you're trying to bring. Mm -hmm. You know, you guys got to step out. There's a statement that mm -hmm. I did, uh, you know, after my nomi my first nomination. Mm -hmm. This statement was actually based upon when the Grammys were uh, after after the uh, the I did after the the the, the um, you know they announced it, mm -hmm. and you know I didn't win the the, mm -hmm. the Grammy. Mm -hmm. There was certain statements that I found online mm -hmm. by certain individuals from our own people mm -hmm. that was kind of expressing kind of the happiness for it. Mm -hmm. And I put a statement out on my uh, thing that when those mm -hmm. who dwell mm -hmm. in the alt who worship at the altar of mediocrity mm -hmm. tries to diminish your light, you mm -hmm. take a few steps away from the shadow and shine brighter. Wow. Wow. Oh, oh, <laughs> Rocky, you mean when you were nominated for the first Grammys? Yes. Um, with um and I'm not gonna go into it because this is gonna oh, be no, another no. thing that people are gonna rip. I, I know, and I know. Twist and I all know, of that. They I are know. listening right now and they're gonna twist it. I, I know. <laughs> <laughs> I know. Yes, they're listening right now and they're gonna twist it. And I know even reputable media houses yeah. in this country yeah. are out there twisting, taking. I saw today even people started adding Shatawali's name to the statement. They said I said some statement and that means that Shata, I also meant that Shatawale did not get nominated. Stone Boy did not get nominated. They're using my name that I said that. This is what is happening in this country. You know? We go all the way. Put our lives on the ground. Put our energy. Work so many years for the love of this country. Take our flag. Fly it without anybody behind us bleed for this country for the love of this country bleed for the love of artists independently how many of our people have supported me in terms of financially and all of that with the work that i'm doing but every time there is any glory i turn around and give it to ghana and then when we are blessed with this 
Stone boy is blessed with this. You turn around. You have the audacity. Audacity. To turn around and try to pit me against my brother. When it's a time you need to celebrate and elevate us. You think the whole world is looking at us? They're laughing at us. They should all be ashamed. And I'm not, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm just taking the gloves off right now. I think I got to cool down. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen in the house, it's Rocky Dawuni. Rocky to the building. 20 minutes going into the art nine. You understand me? The issues to do with the Grammys. Boy, it's so boy, sad. Boy. It's so sad. This thing is not happening in Nigeria. This thing is not happening. It, it, it's not happening in Nigeria. Why always Ghana? Why can't we for once celebrate our people? Like how I pick up an award last night and I've been seeing funny statements on, on, <laughs> on, 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 on Facebook. <laughs> seeing a lot of funny statements. I'm like, like uh, uh, look, no. Are you, are you for real? <laughs> <laughs> Don't please go. Are you for real? Me have it. <laughs> Come take it. <laughs> Show it to the camera. This is the, yo. <laughs> yo, this is the award. Come take it. <laughs> Like, like, no, like, are you serious? Oh, like, like, really? Oh, I, oh, God. I'm like, are you serious? So, you are trying to discredit my work. And people see me and, and they hug me and they, they shake hands with me and all that kind of thing. And then they'll go and stand on social media and they, they, they'll put up statements and I look at it and I laugh. I'm like, oh, so you, you don't want to see me win. This is the same thing happening to Rocky Dawuni. Yeah, pitching, should... pitching Rocky Dawuni against Stone Boy. So Rocky Dawuni said this and go on the academy page and read about it. Every nomination, they have the definition of, of that particular um, category over there. Go and read it. Educate yourself. I said something from the beginning. They said if you want to hide something from the black man, put it in a book. We don't like reading. We don't like and some some people in some ghettos and all that kind of thing instead of you to educate yourself because of you want to impress an artist you want to impress i don't live my life to impress nobody legacy i have been like this from day one and i'll continue to be like this may not change for nobody i am for this country I'm glad Rocky says I gotta cool down. You know, <laughs> <laughs> you gotta cool down. Yeah. You, know, you know what? But yes. it's all it's all positive. Mm -hmm. You know, that's all I want to say. That it's all positive, and you know, it's it's a trap. Mm -hmm. You know, when people see the, you know, the, that the light is shining bright and there is big opportunity that's when you deal with a lot of naysayers too you know and i think that Ghanaians need to our leaders and also the general public mm -hmm. need to get involved in arresting this mm -hmm. type of situations definitely you know the general public should make sure that when they see any headlines that are put out there mm -hmm. You have to take your time to really read and see that whether it's a trap. Mm -hmm. But when you take the words mm -hmm. of someone, the things that he has not said, someone who's talking about a situation, educating and telling you about certain things, and then you take that situation and then you rip and then turn it around as a means to get click streams and also get make money because to drive traffic to your website. I think we have reached a precipice where if we are not careful, one day it's going to take the social media just to conflagrate the whole country. 
something because somebody will post something mm -hmm. that will, you know, I, I, I have been involved in peace building initiatives mm -hmm. in Rwanda. Mm -hmm. The whole Rwanda, uh, Rwandese genocide mm -hmm. started off from a radio DJ mm -hmm. who was just saying, was inciting people and saying, oh, you know, the people are being attacked. The, you know, the cockroaches have attacked this, 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 and all of that. And by the time they knew, everybody was attacking everybody with a machete. <laughs> because it was false news that they used to incite people, things that didn't really exist. So we have to be careful about information. And in these days too, when that information to houses, media houses that are reputable, are not checking and fact checking to make sure that their sources are right, are also getting into the fray of disseminating this falsehood you know, it's, it's really a sad situation for us. And I feel that we all need to take a deep look at ourselves. Definitely. A deep look at how we react to information. A deep look at also finding, making sure that what we are reading is the truth mm -hmm. before we react to it. Definitely. Me, myself... I am proud of Stone Boy. Mm -hmm. I'm proud of his achievement. Mm -hmm. I've always been proud of Stone. Stone Boy is one of our national assets. And he knows it. And he knows I am always behind him. And with this achievement too that he's had, including this nomination that has happened, mm -hmm. It's a time for us as an industry to know that there's so much opportunity. This is the time that we need to bond together. We need to draw all of our strengths together to know that Ghana music has arrived and push this with our media behind us. But looks like what we are doing is rather the opposite than what other countries are doing. Everybody, all the people that have been, you know, have had this happen in their countries mm -hmm. are right now preparing, you know, do, approaching the trade magazines, doing, uh, 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 what's it called, advertising and all of that, strategizing as to how they can be able to win this. My country, what they're doing is that they want to drain the energy. That's what they're doing. All right, so yes. um, I've got a message over here coming from Skelly Dread. And, and, and seriously, if, if, if you know about Skelly Dread, Skelly is one man that you know, has stored with Morgan Heritage, Barry Salmon, Raging Fire, mention them. I quite remember the first time I spoke to um, Raging Fire, when they were nominated alongside Rocky Dawuni, they went to the, um, I think, um, Grammy nomination party or something. And then through that, I was able to link Skelly and Skelly linked me to Raging Fire and I was able to speak to them on this particular show, Yard Settings. This is what Skelly had to say. I want you to listen carefully. Skelly is someone who is knowledgeable when it comes to reggae music the Grammys and all that. Listen carefully to what he had to say. And I read, a, feature, a featured artist for the Grammys is explained as featured artist, not a Grammy nominee. Listen, oh, and don't go and twist anything. Ghanaians, listen. And don't go and twist anything. Listen carefully. You understand me? He said, and I quote, a featured artist for the Grammys is explained as featured artist and not a Grammy nominee. The only Ghanaian Grammy nominee is Rocky Dawoodi. The truth or fact is only one and indubitable. He said, and I quote again, that Rocky's body of works has been nominated for the Grammys twice. 
no other Ghanaian body of works has been nominated by the facts, by the Grammys, and it's a fact. He said, no other Ghanaian body of works has been nominated by the Grammys, and it's a fact. Rocky has every right to be angry and pissed off because of the shallowness of our people who would not take time to learn and understand, but rather twist and pitch people against each other. This is sad. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Hit 103.9. My name is King Lagazi, and trust me, we want to end this grummy brouhaha tonight. Because I am tired. Other countries are strategizing in terms of how their artists will get there. And we are here pitching artist to artist, you know, kind of draining the energy from our artists. And we are not getting nowhere. You go for interview at media houses and you, you, you move out and, and your words are being twist. And people pick other headlines and all that. Just for clicks and views and all that. This nonsense had to stop. Oh, Ghana. Ghana, dear Jimmy in the Dawson. Jimmy in the Dawson or Ghana. I didn't even part the pass. And Ghana, why? Hmm? Why? Instead of pushing one another, we are rather pitching. Oh, God, Ghana, Ghana, when? Now, Rocky has been nominated um, for the best global music album. And the definition says, for albums containing at least 51% playing time of new vocal or instrumental global music. Lucky down, hit FM, 103.9, can't touch your dial. And the nominees for best global music album are Voice of Bun Boon, Volume 1, by Rocky Dewuni. East West Players Presents, Daniel Ho and Friends, Live in Concert, by Daniel Ho and Friends. Mother Nature, by Angelique Kijo. Legacy Plus, Femi Kuti and Madi Kuti. And Made in Lagos, Deluxe Edition. Wiz kid. Congratulations to all the nominees in the global music genre. Lucky down, hit FM 103.9. Can't touch your dial. This song to you, my beautiful people. My beautiful people. Come and sing along. Got a song for you, my beautiful people. My beautiful people, come and sing along, yeah. There are many things we cannot hide. There are many bonds that can be undone. Just like our bond, yeah. Everything in life is a sacrifice. Lock it on. Hit FM 103.9. Can't touch your dial. Here I come with a song. Oh, beautiful people. Oh, beautiful people. Come and sing along. Yeah. I dedicate this song to you, my beautiful.
Sound, Hit FM, 103.9, Beyond Touch Your Dial. Of course, I'm gonna take it easy. Rocky, take it easy. Rocky, calm down, calm yourself. <laughs> Rocky, calm down, calm down. <laughs> Let's take it easy. Yes, so I played beautiful people from the voice of Boom Boom um, Volume. One. And this one is gonna take it easy. So Skelly again step in with this one here. He said Stone Boy showed lack of knowledge and judgment in putting up the post after Rocky's interview. I'm gonna take it easy. Now listen to me. Um, I'm not. I'm not here. I'm. I'm. I'm here for unity. I'm here for progress. You understand me? When you send in your message, I'll read them. You understand me? If you have any question at King Lagazi on Facebook, when you tag me with it, no matter how the message look like, I'm going to read them. You understand me? Yes. My name is King Lagazi, and of course, last time we pick up the best reggae dancer DJ of the year at the Ghana DJ Awards. The fifth time we are picking this. It shows how much work we are putting in. You think it's a plea thing? You, 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 think, you think if you don't if we don't wet it, Rocky Downey will drive all the way from his house and, and sit one-on-one -on -one with us? You must be crazy, man. How I am to you, no man. All right. Everything good. So, Rocky. Yes, 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 yes. Best global music album yes. of the year. This is more like reggae-like and all that. I was wondering why not in the reggae category, but... Well, those are probably... You have to play like a, a song like Wara. Mm -hmm. My Baby. And My Baby. Baby. Yeah. All right. Ghost Town. Let's play that. Uh, even Ghost, Ghost Town is actually, you know... Okay. It's, it's, for a night like this, I think people should feel Ghost Town because it's also a song that we'll I wrote during the lockdown time. It's an acoustic song, but you know. Mm -hmm. So let let's have a feel of those songs, and then we'll yes. come back yes. and, so, and, and and talk about the fact that why is it not in the reggae category, but rather yes. over here. Yes. You understand me? I right. literally played uh, almost all the reggae, the reggae songs that were represented. The rest is all kind of global sounds. Yeah. All right. Yeah. The busy streets are empty Now we're panicked buying bread from every shelf Social media is in a frenzy For an enemy that nobody can see we must go through the valley before we make it to the mountain. 
Lock it down. Hit FM 103.9. Can't touch your dial. How did we get here? Ghost town. Come alive, come alive, come alive. Your fear will disappear. Was there a warning you didn't take it? Were you too busy to see it coming? Was there a calling you ignore it? The preachers keep on preaching. The prophets keep on prophesizing for their flocks. Politicians making up the answers. For oh, nobody knows which way this will go. We must go to the valley. Can you hear me now? Wanna know, wanna know, wanna know. How did we get here? Ghost down. Anybody out there? Come alive, come alive, come alive. The fear will disappear. If we want it, we can get it. Lock it down, hit FM, 103.9, can't touch your dial. Odawara, 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 oh, me who an Andrea, me see them under, Odawara, oh, Odawara. Lock it down, it's FM, 103.9, can't touch your dial. It's FM 103.9. Can't touch your dial. I'm at them say King Legacy. I'm at them say King Legacy. Mechi, mechi. Awoi mo. Seke te pa kemyo. Anajue mi newara. Sis yo toa. Se from a boa. No matter the situation. Anajue. So I got it. Yes. Yeah. Yes. yes, yes. <laughs> I got it now. The yes. main reason why you went in for the uh, the best 
global music yes, yes, album. Yes, there was reggae, mm -hmm. you know, just for the reggae fan base. Mm -hmm. and, but then this was, I mean, this sound is like the Wulome, mm -hmm. Jackaloy yeah. style. Mm -hmm. So this is all the influences because the whole concept of the voice of Bumbo was that mm -hmm. I wanted to go to the, the roots. Mm -hmm. You know, Bumbo is my hometown. Mm -hmm. So it was also an album that, uh, should I say, thematically and philosophically, I wanted people to appreciate their culture and where they come from. Mm -hmm. So I also went for like the roots of high life. Like when you hear Wara, mm -hmm. Wara was kind of the Konimo type, mm -hmm. uh, uh, Pamoyan high life. Mm -hmm. But at the same time, try to mix it with the, the choral style of, of singing mm -hmm. that is very popular in the you know older gospel songs. Mm -hmm. So that's the fusion that I did because I'm influenced by all of this. And then this one too, this song, My Baby too, is like using the call and response style by the same time transporting myself through the energy of like the Jaji Lloyd, the Wulome mm -hmm. and the Ga culture style, you know. So it was it was a, it was it's a very diverse body of work. You know, and I think that when people are voting, uniqueness is a very important thing. Mm -hmm. You know, because if everybody, let's say you listen to another world album, it's all like, you know, a certain style. And then you listen to Voice of Bumbo and you see that you get a whole beautiful uh painting or tapestry of different sonic palettes, sounds and chants and, you know, different approaches to songwriting and instrumentation. I think that is something that resonates with a lot of, uh, you know, very evolved uh, musical minds, you know. So I think that that is what made this album, you know, stand out and eventually was, you know, uh, seen as one of the uh, most influential releases uh, in global music for this season all right so so um rocky now what are we supposed to put in place in terms of for rocky dawuni you know because if you grab this it, uh, it will be the glory for ghana yes it's, it's a <laughs> the nomination is a glory for yes ghana, and you know? and if you if you grab it also it, it would it would take us to another level yes Yes. You understand me? Yes. 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 We, we, you know, already we, we are in a fit and a set dimensions already. So when you grab it now, we'll move into the, you know, other dimension. <laughs> the seven dimension. <laughs> you understand me? So <coughs> what are we supposed to put in place? I, I think that the best thing is... Mm -hmm. Is it a social media hype or tagging the Grammys? You know, ta not tagging the Grammys. You know, what I, I, I see, you, you know, you create an energy of musical presence and you know i mean if you go to every country that this has happened mm -hmm. you see it all in every media i mean ghana has been doing well i'm, I'm not i'm not complaining at all mm -hmm. i mean there's been a lot of a lot of our musicians have you know posted this and congratulated and used their social media to push and i really thank them because as i said you know this is not only for me this is for our industry this is the way we need to move forward but mm -hmm. it's going to take somebody to at least break certain doors for mm -hmm. everybody to follow you know so I'm, I'm i'm honored that i am i have that mantle at least for now to do that and i think uh, ghanaian media ghanaian radio you know putting out and pushing the the works playing and streaming and that's another thing you know the Citizens of Ghana also starting to stream this album. Go on to all your streaming platforms and start, you know, streaming this this album to give it that presence that it needs. And please, and get away from that negativity because that is something that you will use to dampen our opportunity and the hopes for what we are trying to achieve. So I'm just telling all those negative people tonight that they should go and park themselves outside of the Ghanaian border. When this is done, <laughs> we let them back in. Definitely. Yes. Definitely. So, ladies and gentlemen, 49 minutes got into the R9 on Hit 103.9. Yo, Bob, should we pick some few calls? Yeah, man. All right, so... Step on the phone lines and talk to me. We have Rocky Dawood in the building. You understand me? Yeah, man. 
0302-216-568. You can call in and ask any questions. You know, if you want to contribute, anything you want to say, Rocky is here. Our star is here. He's taking us to the Grammys. You understand me? This is the second time. You understand me? So let's see where I go on. Who is on the line? Yeah, hello. What is the name? Where are you calling from? My name is Fifi, aka Rocket. I'm calling from a shy man. Fifi, talk to me. Yo, the big man itself. I salute. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, right. sir, boss. You what we are saying is that we, we, we appreciate you so much. We appreciate you so much. And this time around, we are throwing our support to you. We know we are going to win it. Thank we you. We are winning it for Ghana. Thank you. For sure. Big up yourself. Thank you very yeah, much. Yeah, yeah, sure. All God right. bless you. Give yeah. thanks. Yeah. Give thanks. All we need is the support. The support. You understand me? All we need is the support. We don't hate any artists. Please, let us support each other. Let's put Ghana there. Let's make Ghana proud. This is our chance. Last year, Benaboy did it for Nigeria. Let us also do it for Ghana this time. 0302 216 You can call in and, you know, ask any question and all that. So, Rocky, you were talking about in terms of how we, we will build up our social media presence and all that. Yes, just, those, you know, support. You know, support is, you know, they, I think from even our leadership, you know, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. because the entertainment industry... Mm -hmm. It's a very important part of our... It has to be a very important part of our national strategy mm -hmm. because it's true arts and entertainment and culture mm -hmm. that people travel to come and see our country. Yeah. We market our, our, our music and everything through the musicians, the artists who are doing their works and traveling around. That is how a lot of people travel to this country. Mm -hmm. So if we have an opportunity to elevate and magnify mm -hmm. this asset that we have... Mm -hmm. I think that everybody should take it serious. Ministry of uh, uh, Culture, Ministry of uh, Tourism, you know, the president, everybody should take this serious that being having a, having a nomination like this is not something that just happens every day and every year. It's an opportunity. So we should, we should, we should, we should put our energy in so that we bring the glory here because it will be a great thing for our country. So all I'm saying is that people... I love this country. That's why I do this. I love my people. And let's together, positively, work together and go and bring this to this soil. I believe that we can do it. So I need the prayers, you know, the church leaders, the mosques. We need all those prayers because it's a gift from God, the works that we've done. And also, just to also cool things down, the works that Stone Boy has done, mm -hmm. you know, and, and everybody should know that there's no way that me, his big brother, that I would diminish his, uh, his, his, his contributions and the works that he's done. You know, I love my brother. You know, Stone Boy came, when he came to uh, 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 Los Angeles, he came to my house. We sat that we talk all the time. Even when I was, no, this nomination came, he sent me a congratulatory message. So when I go to explain how the Grammy works and every, somebody takes my, my explanation and me not even mentioning his name, then put my name and said, I said something against him. It just hurts me so much because I don't know, you know, how will my brother feel? You know, so people should just stop it. You know, you should just stop this and then channel all of that energy into something positive to bring us all together. When I see P uh, uh, fans of Shatawale and fans of Stowboy or fans of Samini fighting, it hurts me. Because I think that we need that unified front, that unified fan base. Because one of these incredible artists starts doing something, then you have half of the fan base going against them and it, it's a divided, a house divided against itself usually falls. So let that be a lesson to us. And let that work together. You know, let us uh, uplift each other. And not 
pull each other down. Let's, let us not be the proverbial crabs in the bucket. And may God bless us all in this endeavor. And may God bless us with this glory because I feel that we deserve it. But we shouldn't act like we don't deserve it. Definitely. Yes. So on a lighter side, Rocky said we need to have a united front. You see, when, when we talk about front, <laughs> front, you understand me? <laughs> Rocky said we need to have a united what? <laughs> Front. <laughs> we had any drive, any truck, truck driver. Let me, let me, let me, let me. But in Jamaica, when we, when we talk of front, <laughs> it means another thing. But everything is okay. You understand me? The most important thing is let's have a united front. You understand me? <laughs> and make sure that you know, that unity works. And I am so happy that you know the voice of Boom Boom, you know, Volume One was premiered over here, you know, and I, I remembered, as I listened to the tape before coming, I said that this is for the Grammys. And yes, of course, here we are. We've got it. You understand me? So, you know, sometimes we prophesy also, you know, so people should take us serious when we say certain things. That is why we must come together as one and make sure that this work, this kind of works, you know, for us in this country. Let's put aside the differences and all that. So that let this one work. Nigeria has been there last year. This year is for Ghana. You understand me? Oh, Ghana. Yes, Sremu. Eh? Ghana, yes, Sremu. Black sense is just typing. Front is front. <laughs> <laughs> Somebody's on the line. Hello. Hello. What is the name where you calling from? This is your Gallis. Okay, talk to me. I want to greet um, uh, Bossman Rocky Downey. Hello, my brother. It is a. But I'm Adam. I feel you need to be celebrated. In fact, uh, it is a big win for Ghana already, and I feel your um, album should be played on this um, interview. Thank you. Thank and I feel you also at the right place. And all this confusion is this station, Benedict Jaffe is fooling the thing. Go to his wall and see everything. So tell them in the face to stop that thing. Tell them you are the right place. They are the people causing it. Who's tell that? Them, thank you. All right. Bless. Who's that? Mm. Um, Benedict Jaffe is a producer on this show. And um, I feel Benedict Jaffe is. is, is is kind of explaining everything you understand me you know from his perspective you understand me and you know sometimes make a little bit of you know comic about saying things for, for people just to feel all right you understand me but i i don't think benedict jaffes mean anything you know bad because i've, I've read through all the all the posts on his wall and all that a, a lot of the time people kind of you know come against us in a hard way you understand me but i believe that if all of us can jump on the grammy you know page and make sure that we get that education for ourselves i think all these things wouldn't have happened you understand me the education is the important you know aspect of this remember when rocky Downey was um, nominated in 2015 he had he featured samini on that album yes 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 you understand me so it means that uh, at the end of the day the Grammys will write to um, Samin, right? Yes. As being a contributor yes. to the to a song or the album. Yes. You, you understand me? So, please, let us get the education. The education is very, very important. You understand me? So, please, in, enough of the front and back and all that and it is not important <laughs> you understand me <laughs> they they should do with front again and who be that was he all right <laughs> I will cause so much trouble when I speak what's on my mind. It will take.
get word just to know what the difference is. With time, all things hey. will blow over as winter becomes hot summer. Just like yin and yang, you know what the difference is. Now they tell me I'm too much. I don't have to behave as such. Stay calm and it shall come and slice up high, high in the sky. I could not Friends, this song really speaks about everything we are discussing yes, now. Yes. When you are not quick to anger, open up a world of wonder, like a boat of thunder. Sometimes the grind could get slower. Can carry that weight on my shoulder. I must tell it apart. Now they know that I'm too much. I don't have to believe as such. Stay Rocky Dawuni. Yes, sir. Rocky, we give thanks for for you coming through tonight. Thank you very, Be very, very much. Before before we leave you finally, yes. I, I don't know whether you have any info to put out there, you know, for the people once again, at least um where I, I, I've seen Junior Maestro, you know, um, going online to, you know, um, you know, um, copy the the link for Voice of Boom Boom Volume One from Spotify. He's yeah. pasted it on the on the page so people can go and stream and all that. Well, most important thing is the concert that is coming. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, you have a concert coming? Yes, 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 yes. Mm -hmm. um, you know, December 11th. December we are, 11th. We are celebrating the album with a live concert at Plus 233. Wow. So, you know, because we want to put that positive energy for the holiday season to start it because this is a real gift mm -hmm. for us. So, everybody that is listening, Plus 233. December 11th, it's only 77 Ghana cities. Mm -hmm. So, Unisika Kram Pacho Bobusina because we're a celebration. Definitely. And people should come there and less and come and feel the how, live version how, how, of the song. How, how is it going to be like on the 11th of December? It's going to be incredible. That's all I know. Mm -hmm. Because I'm going to channel all that energy mm -hmm. and bring it right into the stage and right here on our soil to prepare the grounds for that piece of blessing to make to, to come and touch the grounds here. So this concert will be the concert to really shift that energy. And I will want all Ghanaians, everybody, wherever you are, come and be part of history. You know, because when when we bring it, the most important thing will be will be the concert that we used to bring it down to the ground. So all right. I, 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 on the 11th. Are, are we going to have any supporting artists? Or we, have, we, we will have, but we haven't named them yet. Okay. So we are, we are going to have. But, you know, I'm also inviting all our musicians, you know. Okay. Come down there. You know, come, let's celebrate. This is about Ghana. This is Ghana music celebration. Come down there, you know, come and join me. And let's make an incredible, beautiful night of celebration for this blessing that we have. We got to bring this. In case somebody wants to link you via social media and all that, where, um, how can they reach out well, to you? Uh, all my handles, you know, are Rocky Dawuni, one word, R-O-C-K-Y-D-A-W-U-N-I. So, you know, everybody, you know, Ghanaians, please, you know, go, you know, WhatsApp, um, uh, what's it called, uh, Instagram, Facebook, all the social media, Twitter, you know, go and join me and add me and, you know, follow me so that we can be able to share what's going on. And then the most important thing is people should go out there and stream the music, stream the album. Okay. Yeah, just go and stream the album on all the major platforms and let's keep, you know, let's keep it coming. Let's right. keep the energy going and going and going till January when we touch down in Los Angeles. All right. All right. Boom, boom, check. Boom.
<laughs> okay, so I have a message coming from Samini. Samini said, and I quote, he said, tell Rocky Dawuni that I'm in tune. He's listening. Samini, big up yourself, man. He Samini. said, Samini. Yes, he said, um, tell him thanks for the opportunity. I was the only artist featured on the first Grammy, GH Grammy, Grammy nominated, nominated album he did. And that song, Charlie, that song, you get him. Yes. You for and, pull him. And, and again, he said, tell him, I said, congrats for the second chance yes, at sir. it again. Thank you understand you. me? Thank you, yes. my brother. You are next, you know. Definitely. Yes, sir. <laughs> definitely, definitely. So, so, so it, it, it tells you that GH is winning. GH is winning. You understand? GH is winning. Let's put aside the person the, uh, with team who are coming. Consume, consume, oh, I mean, let's and, and put and all crowd, aside. You know, it's, it's killing us. And again, I'm going to move It's killing us. Me, me, brother, spa. I just say, yeah, more, more, or more than you just say, they, they turn, turn each us against each other. I mean, you know, it's not good energy. You know, until let's all, let's all work through this. This is, this is, I think, it's a storm in a teacup. But I know that the naysayers and or more, more chair, or more, 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 or I'm going to go sleep. <laughs> you can work on it. <laughs> <laughs> Tomorrow to bring another scandal and then we'll work on it, you know. But me, I'll go and sleep and I'll think positive thoughts and I'll send positive vibes to, you know, my brothers Shatawale, Samini, Stone Boy, uh, Ken Promise, you know, uh, Kwesi Ata, Sako Die. You know, I, I, I just, I, you know, just incredible amount of talent that this country has. Grammy level, and I'm telling you, this too is not. This too is just the beginning. Definitely. Because if this this whole troop of people we are talking, mm -hmm. that, you know, it, it, the history is coming. The history is coming. Yeah. Thank you, Rocky, for coming through. Oh, 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 oh,